Hello, hello. Today I'm gonna bring you. And this one's so weird, I don't even know. It's a four horn, but I don't know what kind. Check this bad boy. Yuck. <laughs> That's a weirdo, right? He's got a horn down here and a horn right there. And these two wild blonde horns up here. Stay tuned, we're about to make it beautiful. Welcome back everybody. As the first order of business in skull cleaning, we're gonna to wanna to remove as much meat and tissue as possible. Now you can see that this particular animal was shot in the horn and it kind of blew out the bottom of the head and the face. I'm gonna speed this up because that is the stuff that is extremely gory. But just remove as much tissue as you can and then we're gonna move on to the next step, which is simply boiling and power washing. All right, there we go. In a big pot of clear water, I'm gonna submerge that entire head and bring it to a boil, about 10 or 15 minutes, and then I'm gonna take a big sand hammer and knock the horns off the skull cap. There's a horn core in there, and that horn is just a cap that sits over the top of the skull. Make sure you cut those off and get them nice and clean inside. Whenever you have a damaged skull like this, you want to be very deliberate and very focused on where you smack those horns. Twice in the last month, I had an animal that was headshot. It was hard to tell. And as I smacked those horns, I literally exploded the skull, two pieces. I got it fixed up, but it kind of stunk and I felt like an amateur. So just be careful. If they don't smack off, twist them off. With the horns removed, I cut the long parts of the core down and I place it back in the boil until the skin on the top of the head splits. Now I've been saying this since day one. You wanna take your power washer and you wanna spray into every hole and every orifice. Anywhere there's meat or tissue, make it go away. Let's get to washing. <laughs> Now I went a little out of order from the norm here, but it really doesn't change. I'm never doing one skull at a time anymore, or so it seems. So I'm whitening all at once, and I have one gallon of aqua silk and three gallons of water in this pot. I'm gonna bring it to a boil, and then I'm gonna wash everything clean. That solution is whitening and degreasing. Now something I like to do to help the brain removal and to make the entire skull very clean and sanitary is to pop out the auditory bull. It looks like an ear butt in the back of that skull. I take a little screwdriver and I pop it out and then I take like a little 5 8 wafer bit and kind of wallow it around in there and make a nice clean cylindrical hole and it just makes for a beautiful finished product. Once that skull is completely clean, I drop it back in the peroxide. You can see here a close-up of that product just attacking that bone, whitening and degreasing. I leave it in there just long enough to where the chemical hits raw bone and only raw bone. And I pull it out, give it a real good rinse and let it dry. Once it's dry in front of a fan for like 24 hours, I give it a coat of flooring mop and glow on the entire skull and the horns, and then I use a two-part epoxy, sliding the horns back onto the horn core, and then just stand back and look at what a fantastic product it became. 
All right, y'all. Wicked, freaky, four horn, done. These things just, I think, are just the most wild critter that lives. And I've never done one with white horns like that. So I think he's super cool. You could see earlier that he was shot in the head, and that whole side of his head is uh, ultimately missing. Looks like the bullet, if I'm not mistaken, probably came in through the back of the horn and went out. Maybe they shot him from going downhill or whatever, but beautiful. I have a couple of others I want to show you. This one was found in, uh, in the dump. It was dead, so I cleaned it up. Look at that little freak. And he's blonde and black. Just crazy looking. But this one here, I got one more. And again, don't, that's just an old deadhead. This one right here takes the cake. Look at that bad boy. I had done this months and months and months ago and uh, it fell off the shelf and busted up his nose. So I kind of tried to patch it as good as I could, but look at the size of that thing. <laughs> uh -huh. Good times. Thank you very much for watching, as always. Until next time.